Kenya's opposition leader Raila Odinga is tonight demanding that President Uhuru Kenyatta declares the Eurobon money saga a national disaster and institute an independent international forensic audit to, the, to track the whereabouts of 999 million US dollars that was not paid in the consolidated fund. At the same time, Raila has demanded for the resignation and prosecution of National Treasury Secretary Henry Rotich, Principal Secretary Dr. Kamau Thuge and Central Bank of Kenya Accountant General Bernard Ndungu for allegedly undermining the constitution through failure to deposit Eurobond proceeds immediately and in full into the consolidated fund. <laughs> Last weekend, Code Leader Raila Odinga issued a three-day ultimatum to the Director of Public Prosecutions to name individuals involved in the Eurobond scandal, failing which he will disclose the names. Raila finally made good his threat by naming eight individuals whom he says are persons of interest in the Eurobond saga. They are Joseph Kinywa, Chief of Staff at the Presidency, Cabinet Secretary for National Treasury Henry Rotich, Principal Secretary for National Treasury Dr. Patrick Kamau Thuge, Bernard Ndungu, who is an Accountant General at National Treasury, Chairman of the Central Bank of Kenya Board Mohamed Nyaoga, former Central Bank of Kenya Governor Professor Njuguna Ndungu, Director of Financial Markets at the Central Bank of Kenya John B. Rich, and finally Moses Muthui, Manager, Financial Services at the Central Bank of Kenya. There are people who have got information, but they may be just the first line. As you see, you can see an onion. You're, you're, you're peeling it to its first layer, <laughs> second layer. <laughs> the opposition leader accused top national treasury officials of undermining the constitution by failing to deposit eurobond proceeds in full to the consolidated fund. Raila also accuses treasury officials of deliberately misleading the National Assembly's Public Accounts Committee and taxpayers that the eurobond proceeds were paid in full to the consolidated fund. Besides, Raila says the officials concocted documents to cover up a massive loss of public funds through the multi-billion shillings eurobond. We demand that the top national treasury officials, namely the cabinet secretary, Mr. Henry Rotich, the principal secretary, Dr. Kamau Thuge, and the accountant general, Mr. Bernard Ndungu, resign immediately and be arraigned in court. Court leader wants President Uhuru Kenyatta to institute independent international forensic audit to track whereabouts of 909 million US dollars that were not paid in the consolidated fund. He also wants the president to institute audit of expenditure allegedly funded by Eurobond. Raila says the integrated financial management information system should be declared a sham and big failure. We demand that President Uhuru Kenyatta declares the Eurobond matter a national disaster. We are convinced that we are in the middle of a great con game, treachery and thievery by the agents of the Kenyan state working in cahoots with international actors. A forensic consultant hired by the Kenyan opposition to follow paper trail of Eurobond proceeds questioned the authenticity of documents posted on the National Treasury website that indicated the 909 million US dollars that was kept in an offshore account in New York operated by JP Morgan was wired to JP Morgan Chase Bank branch in South Africa. The consultant argues the South African branch could not receive the Eurobond deposits since its balance sheet was worth 2.9 billion US dollars and that South Africa uses rands as opposed to dollars. Fab fabrication. Your bank has a definite address in New York, JP Morgan Chase, New York. This is a very large institution, one of the biggest in America, one of the biggest in the world, $1 trillion. They have no reason at all to engage in this kind of uh, games. The branch is too small. $2.9 billion is the uh, asset base. So they cannot receive $2 billion in our sovereign bond proceeds. Secondly, you cannot release a statement for your parent bank in another domicile purporting to have that account in your account in Johannesburg. Lastly, San Antonio, Texas is a great place to basically wear a cowboy boot, look at cattle. They have nothing to do with New York in terms of finance. We challenge the Federal Reserve Bank of New York to come out clearly and demonstrate that it was not a party to what is clearly an elaborate money laundering scheme by producing bank statements detailing movements of the Eurobond proceeds deposited in the account between 8th of September 2014 and 30th of June 2015. The court leader accused the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission 
of carrying out short investigations on the Eurobond saga and said he'll not rest until he gets to the bottom of the matter. Patrick Amimo, KTN News.